These new deep learning hardware emulation profiles let you emulate pretty much any famous hardware to an insane accuracy of over 99%. You can pretty much use any analog hardware now for free, like what? And in today's video, I will show you how to load these hardware profiles, where to find them most importantly, and what cool stuff you can do with them. So without further ado, let's start straight into this. Now first, I think I gotta explain a little bit more what these emulation profiles are. They are called NAM profiles, which stands for Neural and Model Neural and Modeler, and are used to learn the sound of any analog hardware with some new deep learning algorithm. All you gotta do is load them up, and you have the sound of any analog compressors, tapes, consoles, like literally any analog hardware right there to use on whatever you want which is just insane like that we at the point where you are able to do that like but let me finally show y'all how this works so for loading NAND profiles there are about like four to five different options slash plugins the first and original plugin that was developed to play these NAND profiles is also called NAM or Neural and Modeler. And as you can see in here, it's extremely simple. You just gotta go right here, select your NAM model. For example, let's go for like the Tascam tape, cassette recorder, and here you go. Now this sounds great already, but y'all may have noticed a problem with the sound when looking at this imager right here. You can see that it only outputs a mono signal, which is obviously very suboptimal because I want to use these NAND profiles on like samples or melodies and I don't want those to be mono. Like, come on, it does not sound good, bro. Unfortunately, that is kind of a struggle right now since these NAND profiles are very new and new plugins to load these with more options are coming out like every other week right now. But unfortunately, right now we have to use this plugin called Genome, which is a paid plugin, but can play all NAND emulations in stereo if you select it up here. Now this plugin got a 14 day trial, which I'm on right now. And unfortunately, as of right now, it is the only plugin that can give you a true stereo output. There actually is this very, very new plugin right here, which should have a stereo output, but it doesn't work for some reason. As you can see, I'm clicking here and I somehow can get Get it to turn stereo but i think this is a bug and if they fix it you can use this instead which is free but as i said earlier all nam profiles are in mono so there is just a way to load these nam profiles with a stereo output in fs studio by just using patcher and the normal nam plugin although a little bit more complicated but i will get into all that Let's first look at the genome and some more cool NAM emulations. So in genome, you want to open up Codex to actually load these NAM profiles, which is the first thing right here under the amplifier section. And then just put this to stereo, select your NAM profile, and then you just play. Now the only real downside I guess to these extremely accurate NAM emulations that you pretty much have no control over the actual hardware unit like you don't have like buttons or sliders to change anything on it it's basically just the sound on a specific setting of that hardware I personally like the tape profiles the most because they really change the sound a lot if you select something like you know a CLA 176 or even like an analog console or something the sound obviously won't change too much.
Now before we get to where to find the craziest NAND profiles, let's look at how to load NAND profiles with a stereo output in FL Studio using Patcher. I just made this very, very simple patch right here. I'm gonna just link it in the description for y'all to download. All you gotta do is either use the basic NAND modeler right here, or what I prefer, this plugin called Tonography, because the bass, middle, and treble knobs kinda sound smoother in here. Plus you got this extra present knob right here. It also has a bunch of other stuff, but all you gotta do is just get your NAND profile and drag it in here. Select your NAND profile in here, turn this on, and you got your stereo output. Let's get one of these Studer tapes. Like you could just throw this on everything to just make stuff sound a little bit better and kind of like give every element of your sample that console or tape feel. And then with playing around with this present knob, that really adds that nice high end. My voice is dead, so I can't scream right now, but I'm really excited, bro. This is, oh my God. <coughs> God damn. But yeah, that's pretty much everything you gotta know when it comes to loading these NAND profiles. Now let's finally get to the good part, where to find the craziest NAND profiles. First off, the biggest site full of free NAND profiles is called Tone Hunt. And as you can see, when I scroll down here, we can already see a few models. And when we click on view more and then select amps, you can see that you got 120 pages. God damn. When it says name right here, and this name is something cool, just hit download, and you got your name profile right here to drag into whatever name loader you wanna use. Now I can keep scrolling and scrolling through these pages and find like pedal emulations, amp emulations, so much, it's really crazy. Now, since there's so many NAND profiles on this page, they obviously cannot all be good. So I will upload a bunch of my favorite NAND profiles on Patreon for y'all to get. And if you want to spend a little bit of money, you can also check out Past the Future Reverbs. They got a bunch of very great NAND profiles from like legendary gear for mostly just $10 each. So if y'all find something really cool when scrolling through this page, you know, might as well get it. But with that being said, that's it with this video. Thank y'all for watching. Hope I can put y'all onto these crazy new NAND profiles. I put all the downloads to the different NAND players in the description alongside the websites for getting NAND profiles, plus some of my favorite NAND profiles for y'all to download on Patreon and that NAND stereo patch I made for FL Studio. But with all that being said, what else can I say? Don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on notifications, write a comment, y'all already know. And just download, try, and use these NAND profiles on your sound. But this new technology is dead ass crazy. Make the best out of your remaining day. Hope to see y'all next week. What a butt at? What a butt at, folks?